Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, signs of winter this week. Of course, we have the snow, albeit light, coming up tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. And another blast of frigid air in the uh, Friday, Saturday time frame by the end of the week. In the meantime, we are tranquil, chilly, but nothing extreme. Uh, temps are in the low 30s right now. Clouds have been on the increase. Uh, partly cloudy skies looking good in Providence and will stay quiet and dry this evening and right on through the overnight. Eventually, our temperatures should tumble down to about 20, 25. It's in the upper 20s to low 30s right now. 28 Smithfield, 32 Providence, upper 20s to low 30s along the coastline. So very uniform temperatures. Uh, Taunton now leading the way with a colder temp at uh, 27 degrees. So dry skies this evening and overnight with a couple of chances for at least light snow. The first being tomorrow evening, tomorrow night into very early on a Wednesday morning. Watching Thursday, there'll be a huge ocean storm, but it still looks like most of this is going to be a miss and, and it stays offshore. But we may get grazed with at least some snow showers on Thursday. And then, of course, as advertised, that very cold air by the end of the week. Uh, cleared partly across southern New England right now. All of New England is quiet. Precipitation that we're tracking for tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. Uh, off the mid-Atlantic and extending back through the Midwest. Area of low pressure attached to it, a warm front. And along that, this moisture headed our way. The, the start time of snow here is between roughly 4 and 6 o'clock in the evening. So really, most of the, of the daylight hours of Tuesday, it's actually dry. And obviously, it's cold enough now to support a mainly snow situation coming up for tomorrow night. So we'll step you through it hour by hour. Watch the time bar right up in here this evening and overnight. Of course, the gray represents cloud cover. Temperatures tomorrow morning starting off in the 20s. A little bit of filtered sun through increasing clouds. The blue is snow. I mean, you don't see it at 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, but you do see it by this time tomorrow evening. Here it comes, overspreading the entire area tomorrow night and into early on that Wednesday morning. Light to moderate. It, it's not real heavy, and it's one reason why the accumulation's not expected, expected to be excessive. We can, we can handle this, but certainly it doesn't take much to cause untreated roads to be slippery. So by late tomorrow night, early Wednesday morning, coating to an inch along the south shore, most of us in this general one to two inch range could be a slightly higher amount of two to three in the far, far northwest corner of the state, Boroughville, uh, Pasco, out towards Uxbridge, and, um, Douglas Mass, that area, northeastern Connecticut. So not a lot, but again, some slippery travel later tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. So for tonight, we are quiet under mainly partly cloudy conditions. 22 by 6 o'clock in the morning, so a little bit of filtered sunshine early through increasing clouds by 11 a.m. We're at 32, and tomorrow afternoon, uh, mainly cloudy with that light snow arriving sometime after 4 or 5 o'clock. Temperature briefly peaking at around 36 37 degrees. Seven day forecast. Precipitation on Wednesday, just kind of light nuisance stuff. You know, light rain or a light snow shower. Storm offshore should stay away on Thursday, but getting grazed with some gusty wind and some snow showers. And Mike and Shannon, here we go again. Friday and Saturday, this next shot of cold air could be colder than the one we had this past weekend. Wind chills on Friday night, Saturday morning below zero. So fortunately, it's not a big storm here tomorrow night, but just enough to cause uh, some slippery travel uh, later tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. So be careful. All right, Tony, thanks. Yeah. Coming up next in sports is Tom Brady.